Hi guys, Richard Winston here with Over 50's Money. Um, I just want to give you a quick update on the petition. Uh, we've got some work to do next week, so there's been some negative news that I've, I need to share with you. Um, it, it means we're going to have to put in a bit more effort over the coming weeks to try and get Ofgem to change their mind. Um, so I'll just get straight to it. Ofgem posted a new consultation document yesterday for the profit calculation in the um, price cap formula. Um, and obviously we've been petitioning to have it reduced. We think profit that scales with the price cap is unfair. It's led to all of these record levels of profit to um, energy suppliers during the energy crisis. So they're getting more money while the rest of us are struggling. And we've been asking them to change that and reduce the amount of profits energy suppliers can get and are getting. Um, they've been doing a consultation since August last year. They've delayed their decision twice already. It will now be implemented from October this year, hopefully, assuming they make a decision uh, before then. But in this third round of consultations, they've put forward a new formula that increases the amount of profit a supplier can get. I found this out last night, and obviously I was um, quite angry about it. Um, I don't understand how they can justify increasing the, form, uh, the, the, the amount of profit an energy supplier can get, considering they're all posting record levels of profit. And from the, what I've read in the documentation, the, uh, the, the logic behind it is that they can provide a better quality of service to customers, which is just stupid because let's be perfectly honest, quality has been, customer service has been declining over the last couple of years. And it's, it's really, really been bad during the crisis. And often themselves have done um, some research into that and found that customer services has got worse throughout this crisis. And with their record levels of profits, what have energy suppliers done? Did they use those extra profits to get more customer service agents in and improve their systems? No, they've given bigger dividends to their shareholders. So the logic of increasing profits further to, you know, justified by the need for better customer services and better quality of service for customers is flawed to say the least. Um, previously, what we've done to try and get Ofgem to reduce their their um, profit calculation is we just told them that's what we want okay and that my logic was you know what well, i'm not an expert in this stuff i don't have i haven't had the time or capacity to look into every specific formula and the thousands of pages of documentation that they produce at each one of these consultations like the one they produced yesterday was 95 pages for this single element that i need to review now um, and we just told them we don't agree with any increases and hope that they would therefore create a formula that, you know, decreases profit. And I think that's not going to work. So um, what I'm going to do over the next week and what I started doing yesterday and made really good progress on last night um, is I'm going to look at the formula. I'm going to figure out how they calculate the profit percentages and I'm going to give them an actual alternative, some real suggestions on what they should be doing, what is fair for the customer. I'm going to ask some questions. I learned I learned about something called gearing yesterday, which is set at 0%. I don't understand why. Um, there are, I won't get into the um, yeah into the jargon of it, but yeah, it's just there's some questions that I immediately found last night when looking at the formula. And I think another week or two's worth of work, and I could um, put forward a good case for reducing the profit. This consultation period is open until the end of June. And when I said we need to do some work, what I meant by that is I'm going to be asking you all to email off Jim again. I'm going to um, come up with my answers for the the recalculation of profit to make sure it does come down because it shouldn't be going up. Um, and then I will produce an email and ask you all to copy and paste it and send it on to off Jim again to the right email address, the specific one for this consultation. So I'll give you all of those details when I can, when I have those ready. Um, it'll, it'll take a week or so, I reckon. Um, but who knows, maybe quicker. I'm quite determined with this at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, I'm sorry to have to ask for your help again. And I'm sorry that we're now, for some reason, losing this battle. The last six months, I've been telling you, off Gemma, reviewing the profit. And it's great because they're going to bring it down. Why wouldn't they? How can they justify increasing it? Um, obviously, I was wrong. Uh, my bad. But, yeah, we've got some work to do next week um, to, to change off Gemma's mind on that. On the bright side, as you still saw yesterday, the price cap is coming down. We are going to get some cheaper bills. Um, it's not, in my opinion, enough, and often we're doing some things that are going to reduce the amount of decrease, I think is the right word. You know, they can't stop wholesale prices from falling, which they have been and they will continue to do, hopefully, 
um, but they're, they're increasing other elements of the price cap under the guise of it's fairer for suppliers. What's happening here is suppliers are putting pressure on Ofgem and saying everything's unfair on them, um, which is their job. To be fair, their, their job is to increase the profits for shareholders. So when they, um, when they talk to Ofgem, they're always going to say, we need more money, we need more money. Um, and it sounds like Ofgem's listening to them, which is a shame. I'm not happy about it. Uh, but we can keep pushing and we can keep turning off Jim we want to hear. Um, and yeah, just hope for the best, I guess. If you have any questions about this profit calculation, I can send you some documentation. And obviously, when I produce the email, um, you're all welcome to review the answers that I'm giving. And if you don't agree with it, what I'm suggesting to off Jim, change it, like put in your own thoughts. Everyone that emails off Jim about this consultation and have to take our views into consideration. It may end up delaying the decision. Um, but if the current plan is to increase profits for energy suppliers, I'm okay with delaying that decision. So yeah, let's, let's uh, all work together. If you don't like the answers that I put in the table, please do just email me, tell me about it, or change it yourself and send it on to Ofgem, wherever you fancy. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye out for my next post. It will be it'll be a long one because there's a lot of questions we have to answer. It'll be in a table format, and you'll have to copy and paste it all. Um, but it's it's something we need to do because otherwise energy suppliers are going to be getting higher profit margins from october onwards and that just doesn't make sense to me as it doesn't to you that's why you've signed this petition thank you all for the support um i also sorry i said i'd update you on the the hand-ins we're handing in the petition to 10 downing street on the 5th of june at 12 o'clock in the afternoon um so feel free to come down and join us and you know that we'll have uh, a new reporter there and a cameraman um yeah, it'd be great to have, have your support if you fancy saying hi or um, witnessing the hand in. You feel free to, to join us. Um, we, we're we hoping to get up to half a million signatories by then. So I'm talking to change.org about doing some boosting of the petition. Um, over 50's money has paid to boost the petition a little bit more so we get more views and hopefully more signatures. If you guys can do your bit and just share it with your friends and family, talk to them about it. Um, post on your social medias, things like that. Every time I do one of these videos, we do see a, a nice little boost in the number of signatories. So that's really helpful. Um, I think that's everything. Sorry for the longish video. Thank you all for your support. And as always, if you have any questions, my email address is in the description below. It's richard at over50smoney.com. Feel free to email me. Thanks, guys.